In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the transfer roller and the charge roller in a Lexmark T650 series printer. The first thing I do is have a small stack of paper up on top of the printer, and I'll show you why in a second. So open the toner access doors here and make sure the toner is removed. The transfer roller is this roller right here. Now the reason why I'm wearing gloves is you want to try not to touch this with your bare hands, either the transfer roller or the charge roller. Uh, the oils on your fingers um, can affect print quality, uh, but if you don't have gloves, don't worry about it. You can always wash your hands, uh, make sure they're clean, and then uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, so that's the transfer roller down below. The charge roller is up above. Now, you can't see the charge roller unless you lower the toner lid on top. So it, as you lower the toner lid, you can see the charge roller drop down. So that's why I have the paper on top here. You just kind of move that forward here. And that allows this toner lid to stay down about halfway. So I have an extra hand free to remove the charge roller. But first let's do the transfer roller. The transfer roller is really easy to uh, remove and replace. Um, to remove the transfer roller, uh, you'll notice there's a gear on the right side here. The other side of the transfer roller is in a uh, little bushing in there. So this bushing is open on the right. So you take your screwdriver and you just pop it up a little bit. That freed up the right side. You lift up the right side and then the left side pops out. You can see the little pin there goes into the bushing again and then you just pop it back in place. That's really easy. Uh, the charge roller is a little trickier. So if you look up into the printer and I lower down the top, you can see the two blue arms that are suspending the charge roller on the left and the right. And on the left side there you'll actually see an arrow indicating that those two arms will splay out uh, to the left and the right to allow you to remove the charge roller. So let's try to remove that here and we'll try to do that with one hand if I can. So again we're just going to move this over to the right a little bit and that drops the left down over there and then of course or sorry, drops the right down and then the left pops out. All right, now that the charge roller is removed, I just want you to take a look at this roller. It's actually two small rollers that are connected on the left and the right. The little pin at the top of the blue side goes faces up when you install it in the printer. Same thing on the right side, this copper side here. That little uh, copper pin that faces up. So we're going to install this here. First you'll put the left side in and that fits into a little slot there on the left. And then with the other hand you splay the right side over and that goes into a pin on the right side. Here's a more close-up view of installing the charge roller. It's a little trickier to do this with one hand. There you go. That's installed.